Hi guys, and thanks for watching our update on July 9th, 2023. So today, we're starting off w with the satellite from Way.com. I can see that um, we got some big anvils from Cumulo Nimbus Clouds over the, um, um, just northwest of a line from like Kerry up through Port Leash, up towards Lowell and Dundalk. Um, anywhere northwest of that line, is prone to catching a big downpour, but also lit, but also in the evening, this big um, clump of clouds and a few showers off, off the south coast may may affect the south of the country as well. Um, radar is like this, so we do have some storms over England, um, also some big showers over Ireland, as you can see, mainly northwest of the Dundalk, down towards Leash oh, Strike there, and of course um, Northern Ireland as well, and uh, so a line. Anywhere northwest of a line from Laos, the Dork, down towards Nace, obviously Port Leash, Thurls, Tipperary, and off into uh, like Kerry. Um, but unfortunately, since there's an error with the radar, we can't see the uh, west of the country. Uh, but yeah, some big downpours to dodge or to catch today, um, depending on what you want. I mean, I, for starters, would like to catch one of those, but I'm in the, but I'm in the southeast. Meaning that um, I am far away from these, in, um, so I'm in an area that isn't prone to catching one today. Um, th these are the warnings from Met.ie. So there's a so that so there's a yellow thunderstorm and rainfall warning for Cavan, Donegal, Dun Monaghan, basically Ulster, um, North Munster, North Leinster, and also into the whole of Connacht. And um, it says scattered. Thunderstorms will form this afternoon and evening. Possible impacts are spot flooding and poor visibility as well as difficult traveling conditions. Um, valid from today at three forty at uh, uh yeah three forty two to nine p.m. So expiring in about three hours. Um, uh, from the time that I'm recording this. Um, and if we just go to uh here and we look at the radar from the past twelve hours. This morning, we, we, we had a band of uh, showers and thunderstorms from Kerry off towards Waterford and down into the Kirk Sea. This moved northwards and intensifies. So, six, so um, a few showers form around here off the, off the coast. And they really get together to form a big band of thunderstorms around um, Tipperary, down, down off into Kilkenny, down to Waterford, and off the coast of. Um, and off the southeast. Coast as well, some big downpours there. I caught one this morning. I, I, I caught a downpour, so that was good. Um, and this whole band of thundery rain just moved northwards. And uh, through the swathe here, from Kilkenny through Carlow, up through um, Leash, Wicklow, well, Western Wicklow anyway, up through um, Meath, and off into West Meath and Cavan and Monaghan, we saw a swathe of very intense rain and thunderstorms. Um, there was a warning for, for that, sort of moving up the country as it moved northwards. Um, and then this afternoon, the storms broke out across the Midlands, north, north and west. One there across Louth earlier, and with, and Meath, um, and we pushed forward, and more storms broke out into the uh, evening. Some big ones over the Northern Ireland, Donegal, and um, actually, the northwest country is actually quite dry. It seems. Um, so actually, yeah. So as I said, northwest of the line from Louth down towards like Kildare and, and off towards Cork, and southeast of the line from from Donegal down towards uh, Cavan and off towards Galway. So it's in, it's it's in this swathe here that that storms are um, rumbling on. Um, this is the uh, this is the NAO observation forecast from the GEFS ensembles. And today we can see, um, let me just refresh it if there's an update, um, there we go, um, same really, um, very negative NAO now, showing that we are in a very unsettled phase for summer, um, in the summer, um, a positive NAO would bring um, some decent weather, but in the summer, this negative, this, um, negative NAO sends high pressure towards Iceland, and sends since the low that's normally over Iceland for the south, and um, as you can see, this back dash line, this ensemble mean, the ensembles are the are the red lines, 
is staying negative even well into the second half of July. But as we go towards the um, last part of July, the uh, black gas line does tick up, um, and that may indicate a slight recovery in pressure close to Ireland. And you'll see that now w with these models. So um, this is a GFS, 6 head run. So we got that area of low to our west today and tomorrow, feeding up that very warm and humid southwesterly winds. So tomorrow we may have a uh, more general area of um, thunder and rain moving up into the southeast of the country. Um, that may be quite um, big. Um, off we go into Wednesday and Thursday. We see the area of low moving towards Scandinavia and the Northern Sea. And that will bring the wind into a more cool and fresh northwest direction before another area of low forms to our west. And uh, we drive the wind in f f from the west or southwest again. Um, so constantly wet and windy, quite breezy, should I say, up into mid-July. Um, but my, by, by Monday, July 17th, we got the Azores high, sort of looking a bit more ridgy, um, a bit stronger, you know. And it's more able to extend. So by Tuesday, July 18th, we, we got we got a higher pressure. This is this is what I was talking about earlier. So we so I think by this stage we will keep a few showers going, especially further north, but it'll be drying out and warming up as well with decent sunshine. Into Wednesday, July nineteenth, Thursday, twentieth of July, quite cool but quite dry. Um as that as always high is ridging towards us. Um but we go on into July July twenty second and twenty third. It's like a thundery low is forming to our southwest. And that will bring a few storms and showers. Um, that clears off. And by July 25th, um, we got a little, a tiny area of high pressure over us. Um, so quite dry, but a few showers will occur. But the lows to our northwest look a bit more flimsy. And the Azores high um, seems to be stronger so, than this now. That's how it is now. That's how it is by Tuesday, Tuesday July 25th. Yeah, a lot stronger. Um, this is the ECM run. I need to do the... Midnight run now. Um, here we go. Um, so you can see we're going forward. Um, into Monday and Tuesday, we drag the wind in from the northwest on Tuesday, so it'll, it'll cool down. Um, off into Wednesday and Thursday. Um, Friday, we see low pressure forming to our west. Winds go southerly again, so possibly a bit more volatility and th and and uh, a risk of thundery outbreaks there. Um, before the wind goes more westerly, um, and into early, um, into the early part of the week after next, um, the, the low stays there to the northwest, um, and by John, and by uh, John the the wind's moving in from the north. Uh, su surprise, surprise! Uh, with this big mid Atlantic ridge all the way to Greenland from the Azores. Now, if this were were in, were in, if this were in winter time. This would freeze up um, upper air temperatures uh, are cool um, in the winter. That may end up bringing, like, if that were January 19th instead of, instead of um, July 19th, that may bring the minus 10 Celsius iceberg south. Uh, but obviously it's July, so that's not going to happen. Um, let's see UK map run. Um, we can see that, we're, that today and tomorrow we're going to... Oh yeah, sorry, I thought it was hover on. Haha, silly me. Um, anyway, tomorrow, winds in off the Atlantic, so quite warm and volatile, unstable. Um, into the weekends, we pull the wind in from the north, and, sorry, into early next week, and towards Wednesday next week, and Thursday. Um, before that little area of low just forms to our west, um, and, dra and drives the wind in for more of, of west direction briefly, but by July 16th, winds going more northwesterly. And with that big mid Atlantic ridge of high pressure going from Greenland all the way, all the way towards the Azores, so um, very unsettled and blocks. Um, blocks, yes, but unsettled. Blocks just means that the patterns are slowing down, they're stopping. Blocks doesn't always mean that's high pressure. Well, obviously high pressure is blocking things out, but it doesn't always influence us. The low can just, can just you know, get trapped over us um, like that. Um, this is a GM. Um, if we go through this, that low does transfer eastwards into next week. Draws, draws down the cooler wind from the north into Friday and Saturday next week. That low deepens to the northwest. Um, 
and brings more rain showers than a bit breezy. Um, but like the GFS run, the GEM, by July 18th, seems to want to reach the Azores line northwards. And by July, and by July 19th, we, we, we got a sort of sentence over the channel. And we're drawing the wind in from the southwest. And this low to our west looks quite flimsy. Um, and our first temperatures are quite cool. But in the sunshine, easily 20s up. Totally manageable. Um, this is the icon run. Um, if we go here, again that low mo moving eastwards into the next week. Uh, cooler winds in from the north, and we go through and uh, into um, Sunday, Sunday and Monday. Low to our north, and we're pulling in the wind from the northwest. Um, so quite cool and showery with that one. And finally, the Arpege. Run, um, here we go. It's something like this. Uh, Monday 10th to Tuesday 11th, looking like that's quite cool and showery. Um, and moving into Wednesday and Thursday, same sort of story. And into Friday, that area of low just formed to our west deepens. Uh, and that will likely move in over Friday and Saturday of next week. And, w and with that northerly blast, I say northerly blast because it's quite a strong winds in that northerly down in Iceland, but not that cold. Anyway, that's it to say. Um, later on, um, we will try and get the UKV into this because earlier, when I was trying to load it up for this video, it just said that there was an error, and I did it several times, and finally it ended up saying, "Sorry, guys, can't get it up." So, so later on, I'll try and get um, a video on its own. Just going through the detailed high res forecast for the next five days. But if not, that's why I couldn't do it. Uh, but either way, I'll see you either th this evening or tomorrow morning. And I'll see you then. Bye for now.